up and over. Why is this hard for you guys to figure out when there's an enemy? Seriously, we're, we're going. We're not stopping for these guys. What did I just say? The pathing in this game is, is not very good with the AI. That should be enough to finish him. Yeah, it is. Got a critical. That is nice. Okay. So now we need to hit pretty much the way that we were going before, except... Uh, yeah, just fine. Cast magic on yourself all day. What do I care? W just straight up here. Now that has... Well, it didn't open up this path here. This place is uh, was available to us before. But I might as well take these guys on, because this is... Well, not necessarily new territory, but it's pretty new. We've only been here a couple times. There we go. Weapon skill up on the axe, up to level 5. I don't remember if there is more for him to learn, though. Um, ah, the gloves. Damn it. Don't like using the gloves, but what are you going to do? Heavy gloves. I think we need to level those up. Uh, what is up here? Nothing. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? I still need the axe. Axe. The golden axe. So that we can chop that down. No, we're still back on Jake, who is on the glove. And I don't need to wait for you guys, because I can just head up here. I do need to level up the gloves, right? I have to, I'm going to have to wait to kill something. I can't hit them when they're after they've been, already been hit. These guys, they split as well, but it's not nearly as annoying as most of the drops were. So I have no problem keeping that in, because they die pretty damn fast. The drops take forever to kill. And let me just double check that I do actually need to level this up. Other way. There we go. Yeah, I do. Okay, fine. But, hold on for one second. Oh. We're, um, we're not as far as I thought we were, to be honest with you. I thought we were further in the dungeon. Holy crap! Down goes the imp. Uh, so we have to hit these switches and move along these uh, blue flame-lit paths. It does remind me a bit of uh, Chrono Trigger with uh, the castle, if you know what I mean. Um, well, the end there. It's very nice. I like that effect, to be honest with you. Let's take on, once again, these rather tame enemies. There we go! Weapon skill up on the whip, which means that I believe uh, Shion needs to now work on the boomerang. Now we can head up here, take on this guy, but this does not lead us anywhere, unfortunately. This guy's pretty easy to hit, though. And down he goes, and everybody has leveled up, up to level 39. Now, you'll notice that I can't actually go this way until I hit the switch, and then all of a sudden this path shows up and I can walk across it. So, uh, the, the paths aren't necessarily lit by the blue light, uh, but they, um, well, they're formed by the blue light, I guess you can say. So, let's head back over here, take on these guys before too many of them spawn. Not that they're that difficult anyway. You know, like, one or two hits is pretty much all we need. And we can take this guy on over here. Freaking ninja. Dark ninja, to be specific, can die because regular ninja are good in Japanese culture. You have to remember that. Hold on for one second. All right, I think I am ready. Let's head up here to find a giant fucking ectoplasm. Ah, Shade will test you, and we're up against uh, an amoeba here. What is its official name? Because uh, there's a little controversy from what I can see about this. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what I call it. Yeah, Lime Slime. Okay. Uh, because I've been told before it is Dread Slime, but it clearly says here, um, Lime Slime. So, let's get out of here, because Lime Slime is pretty much immune to magic. Uh, I say pretty much because there is a way to chain cast him so that it does do damage and we've been frosty. Uh, however, I've never been able to do that. Uh, so... I'm just going to stick with physical damage. Once again, they pretty much tell you, oh, you should level up uh, your, you should charge up your attacks. His attacks are avoidable, by the way, just a matter of avoiding them. And you have to be careful because uh, Lime Slime tends to focus on one party member uh, when he starts attacking. 
Um, so, should somebody start to get low, he'll start focusing on them. Uh, so you want to start healing them uh, pretty early on, a little bit higher than you normally would. Uh, but he'll usually do three or four casts on the same party member. And as you can see, he is starting to get a little bit smaller as we go along. I need to heal again. Um, like I said, there, there is a way to chain cast him. Uh, normal magic, though, without chain casting, uh, typically does one damage. I mean, typically, I mean every time. Uh, so... Pretty much I like sticking to physical attacks. If, if you can chain cast him, you can get it to work. Uh, feel free. I personally cannot get it to work, so I'll just stick with this. And it works out fairly well for me. Just takes a little bit. Uh, but what boss fight really doesn't in this game. It, it, it'll take a little bit, but you know what you're doing. You know. Alright, let's heal again. Get your turn. Here we go. And once again, look at that. That might have killed her if it was a critical, but still, it might have. Yeah, it would have, because then she got stopped and I wouldn't have been able to do anything with her. That, that would have killed her. Just focusing on one or two party members over and over, and I don't know where to stand, so I'm running around hoping that I can get a good shot off. That's going to be for another heal on everybody, because Yancey might die now. Um, but this this fight really is about keeping your HP up and using the physical attacks. That's the general idea of it. Uh, so if you can do that, that's fine. If you do want to cheap it and uh, go for the chain casting, that option is available to you. However, it is not one that I do. I think I've done this enough. But we did see something... Uh, you know, it didn't say that I Lime Slime will test you, it said I Shade will test you. Those of you that watch Sword of Mana will already know what that means. However, really, we don't really have an idea what that, what they're talking about. Uh, Lime Slime is weak to a magic. I'm not sure if it actually does more than one uh, damage to him because, well, you can't have it at this point. Uh, but we shall be getting it very, very soon. Uh, that new type of magic. I should also mention about the magic levels. Uh, you can only level up to uh, the number of mana seeds that you have. And so because we only have four um, mana seeds as of now, uh, that means that I cannot level up um, Shion's Undyne anymore because it's already level four. So we're not getting any experience for that. I did over level just a bit there. Um, but they did say that a mana scene was here, so hopefully we can come across that, and then uh, we can start leveling up again. Are you serious? Damn. Just chain casting Yancey all fucking day. Now you're going back to my other mage. As if... Seriously? And then you just keep missing, just keep missing. Alright, let's use Undyne some more. Damn it. Continue to hit it. All right, perfect timing on that. How did those hit me and not Yancey? They landed right on Yancey's face. No, doesn't doesn't hit Yancey. Hits Jake, who's probably around five to ten feet away. That makes sense, game. That makes sense. But as we keep going, Lime Slime will shrink as we go through this. Uh, but it will take a while to fully finish this thing off. Giant fucking. Paramecium. Uh, actually, don't Paramecium's have, like, hair? Well, I'm sure all... whatever, they have cilia on the outside. It's hair. Uh, I think amoebas do too, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, this looks more like an amoeba to me than a Paramecium, but what do I know? I am no microbiologist. I just play one on the internet. Whenever somebody says that they have a microbiology question. There I am! I know all the answers. Because I looked it up on Wikipedia! Therefore, that makes me an honorary microbiologist. That's how the internet works. This guy, he is still going. Like I said, he does have a massive amount of HP. If I could figure out how to chain cast him, I would, but I don't, so this is the fastest way that I know how to beat him. Uh, because, there we go, finally, 
he goes down and the little screen comes up on the top saying that he gets whacked and that's probably going to stay up for far too long it does <laughs> I love when the game glitches out a little bit like that I, by that I mean I don't but it happens nonetheless way to go and Yossi's weapon skill up, javelin up to level 5, very very nice and we get the Javelin's Orb out of that. Now, I don't think that Yancey has anything else to work on. Oh, no! Yancey needs to work on the Whip. Let's go more and forward to that. And now we are free to head up here. What the hell is that? That is a giant gaping hole that you're pulling on on both sides. The internet has told me about this picture before. I am the spirit of the darkness, and an elemental of mana. Few have defeated my dark servants. Take my powers as your reward. And we have gained Shade's powers. Our fifth spirit, and there is a mana seed up here, so that we can now level up our magic to level five. Very, very nice. Receive the seed's power. Very nice. And we are more or less done here in the temple. Let's take a look at what we can do with Shade. You'll notice that Shion can't do anything with the Shade. There is no Shade here. Yancy, on the other hand, does have Shade's powers. Shade looks a lot better there, even though it looks like a giant gaping hole is being tugged on by two hands, which grosses me out. Uh, we do have three magic spells for Yancy. Uh, we have Evil Gate, which we did see in the last boss fight many, many times. It costs a shit ton of MP, though, so I probably won't be using that very often. We'll probably be using Dark Force instead, which does lesser damage, uh, but stay same darkness type. Uh, we can also do Dispel Magic, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory dispels uh, its targets magic makes it all go away very very nice I don't know if that's some kind of symbolism that they're trying to do with uh, she not being able to use uh, shade because she's a white mage uh, but either way we need to leave this temple however I'm not going to be doing this uh, using the rope I'm going to be running out now meet you at the first screen of the dungeon so we have made it back to the beginning of the dungeon and we can head up here which was previously blocked off by a gate and we can shake the shit out of this treasure chest and get ourselves the gloves orb, my favorite orb because I love the gloves so very very much. They give me so much range and they hit every time. It's wonderful. So let's head out of the cave. Uh, there are no monsters still in the uh, in the palace, as, it, as it's termed, uh, but there are enemies still out here. We need to head someplace that I had not gone before, uh, thinking that uh, I had talked to Jack on the top of the mountain. That was not true. We need to head this way uh, in order to speak with Jack uh, so that, well, I, I didn't meet with him before. I thought that was his representative on top of the... Uh, on top of the palace, the little temple thing that they got going there, but that is not the case. And it, we do have a new enemy here. We have uh, Egatrices, is what is up there. Hopefully I can get up and get to it, or we could just take on this guy down here. 